So week after week, I feel like I'm getting better and better at Warzone 3. And in this gameplay, I'm breaking down a 25 kill when I had. But the good thing about this is that I was pretty much solo squad for majority of the match. So throughout all of this, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I'm thinking, how I operate when I'm fighting against teams and I'm outnumbered, and also how I win majority of my gunfights. So let's get into it. So before we go any further into the video, I want to say that the first two kills you guys see, the video quality will be bad because I was not recording on my PC at the time. So I actually ended up having to download this from my Twitch VOD. So getting into it, I just want to say lately what I've been doing is just landing on top of people or teams. Like there's no Superstore or there's no like Caldera Peak. That's a hot drop that makes people want to land there. So to kick off the action early, I usually just land on people. And then by doing that, you know, you get their teammates upset. So their teammates are going to make like a, a silly play to revenge kill you. And that's when you can really, you know, pick up like one or two or three easy kills. As we're going to do here. There's a guy across from this guy's team. He can't really see us through the trees. So now we're trying to pay attention or listen to audio cues for his third teammate. Usually if you put yourself right there, we heard him on the ladder. But what I was going to say is that when you land at a advantageous spot for you, the other guys are going to have to make a dumb play to actually try to kill you if that's really what they want to do, which is what he had to do. He tried to climb the ladder because he probably thought I was weak from the, his teammate shooting me from across and it ended up working out in our favor. So that is pretty much, so that's why I landed on that guy. And then just skipping ahead, we're kind of rotating around the gunshots. Somebody just popped up on the map right here. You see, he just thirsted him. You seen him on the map. Now, what I like to do and what I've been noticing works really well is that when you get a kill, you want to move around as soon as possible. Like you want to just get a completely different angle or a different look from where you're at. Because you never know how close people are at because you can never really hear them. And we actually seen this guy pop up and I also heard his audio. But yeah, until you get a team wipe, you always want to start moving around immediately. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about a little bit later. But that's what's been working for me a lot. Like I've noticed in the beginning of Warzone 3, I would get a kill and then I wouldn't move. Like I would just sit inside that same building or that same room and I'll play it up. The good thing about this game is that you can now run in plate, you can slide in plate. Like you can have a lot of mobility while you're still remaining to plate up. And that's what I that's what's been working so so much for me. And you guys are gonna see. Let me skip ahead. So up here we, there was a guy that bought back, and then there's a team over here fighting. And usually my rotations occur from me just seeing red dots pop up on the minimap, and that's why it led me this way. So we got a knock right here. So now I'm gonna fly in. And now you guys see that there's a guy right here, another guy behind him, and then this guy right here so we see where the fight is going the fight is going inside this building and i didn't want to go inside that building and have to work my way up and fight against him and his teammates or him and the other team you know so we just get a different look we end up getting a clean look got a thirst and then now from here like i said you want to get a kill and move around a little bit so now we have high ground we're looking down on the situation we have a lot of cover if we need it I don't really see anything initially and they're still fighting down low. So I want to push up and try to get a kill. So like right now I'm hearing a little bit of audio. You seen that guy jump down in the front. So now we want to get high ground again, drop that. And now we can actually see where he's at. So we see that he's under, under us somewhere. And then we got his teammate flying in. Now, usually I don't take shots like this, but you never know if you can get the kill. Me personally, I know I never really get these type of kills because ground loot is terrible. I was just going for the off chance that I might get that kill, right? But now these second shots I take are intentional because his teammate is under us. We're trying to bait his teammate to, to think that we're distracted so he can make a dumb play. So we're, shoot, we're shooting him right here. And his teammate thought it was okay for him to jump up top. But that's what we wanted to happen. So we just thirst him. And I'm pretty sure I just give up on fighting that guy on top of the roof. Because he flew in, we already cracked him. He's not going to have a place to replay it up. So he's most likely just going to run away. All right, so skipping ahead, I made a rotation to get my loadout. Um, and then as soon as I got here, somebody landed on me. But how I played this is textbook. You guys are about to see. And then we just got out of there. He gave up chasing us. But now, I want to explain why I did that and how it worked out for me. So we heard this guy flying in. We heard the parachute, so we know he's close. As soon as he lands, he started to shoot us, right? So we get cover. We're literally on one HP, but we get cover behind this box. And now I peek up to see what he's doing. And this is what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to, to either jump or pull his parachute. Either way, what I was going to do was jump down behind this box. Because while he's jumping in midair like that, or if he's pulling his parachute, he can't actually shoot you. 
So that's why I wanted to happen. So it gave us that small window to get out of there. So now we're crouch walking a little bit. So we can muffle our footsteps, but hear his. And he won't be able to hear ours. We just continue to do this because I'm trying to circle back to the loadout. Then I wanted him to over peak like that, which he did. He had no idea I was there and it worked out for us. So now we got our loadout. All right, so now skipping ahead, we see some live pings going off from our teammates. And then as we're flying in, we see this guy under us. For some reason, he actually dropped. I don't think he ever heard us, so it's worked out really good for us. Slaying quickly and just burn him because nine times out of ten, we're going to have a better gun than them when they're coming out the gulag. But that wasn't the guy I was even looking for. There was somebody running over here when I was flying in. I don't think we ended up finding him. All right, so as we get up here, we're still looking for him. And then I see him on top of the roof. He's sniping. Wanna get sniped? Not really. So instead of me fighting a sniper on a head glitch, we're going to zip across and turn into an SMG fight. And now this one, I played this kind of bad. No, oh my God. Like I, I should have never like engaged in this fight. I should have just jumped up top to begin with. Like how I did this fight right here. This is what I should have did. Cause when people are strafing like that, like if he's on a head and he's strafing left and right, see, look, this those headshots are talking. so hard to hit because the only hitbox you see is his head. Those shots are so hard to hit. I know a lot of people ask me, well, why don't you never go for headshots? It's the reason why. You're going to be much more accurate when you're shooting somebody's body compared to just their, their small head hitbox. All right, then skipping ahead, we're just looking on who we should fly on. Um, this seemed like the easier pick because we have two inside this building and then we have multiple teams over here fighting at the um, buy station. So what I wanted to do was airstrike this and see if we can get a, a, a free knock through the wall. Unfortunately, it didn't work out like that, so we have to work the hard way around this. So what I try to do is peek in, but also like muffle my audio so they didn't hear me peeking through that door. But that guy was already right there just waiting. So what we do is wrap around and we try again, this time with explosives, since we couldn't do it with our gun. So you see we got cracked armor. So initially what I'm trying to do is just get somebody weak. I need these guys to make a mistake. And with one guy being weak like that, a mistake is bound to happen. So this guy is watching this door. So the good thing is, is that his teammate that we just cracked is probably mid plate or whatever. So he's going to be late on the help. You guys see he's just now helping out and he hasn't landed a shot until then. Right here, I didn't really have a choice but to fight back. Luckily for us, it looked like he never got to plate up at all. When you're outnumbered like this, you just want to get somebody weak so you can turn it into a one on one fight. And then another one-on-one -on -one fight. And that's what we did here. Are they not on the same team and, they're all just fighting and that actually works out perfect because me and the first guy were fully plated. So that's an equal one-on-one. -on -one. Me versus the second guy, we we're both um, full regular health, no armor plates. That's just another one-on-one. -on -one. And now moving up here, we see that there was teams over here fighting. A lot of it is quiet now. So if you guys see, we're kind of taking like a long flank and getting behind the fight. So I'm not the one getting pinched or third party. I'm doing the third party. And then our teammate calls out that he downed somebody. I'm trying to unmute on Discord. I'm asking for intel. Oh, we end up seeing one right here. But now, even though he knocked somebody, I'm not sending myself off in the battle to get his thirst or to make any type of silly plays. Like, I'm still playing at my pace, and I'm taking my time. And now you see we're getting shot from somebody towards the buy station side, but I don't know exactly where it's at. So I'm just climbing up top to get a different angle. And a little bit of high ground so I can have better visibility. So I just end up going in for a UAV. So as soon as we get, got the UAV, it looks like they were crossing across the water. So Now, instead of me fighting them and the gas behind me, I'm still taking a, another long route. I'm going far left to wrap around all of it. And then I was going to help my teammate number three, but somebody was pushing across the water. So it showed that there was one guy moving that way, which is the guy that was shooting, but it showed that another triangle was facing our way and was getting closer. So I wanted to take care of the third party before I helped my teammate out. Now that that's pretty much taken care of, we move in. But then by the time I get here, he pretty much killed the last guy, which he's gonna pop out right here. All right, so as we're moving over, our teammates both end up dying right here. So as we're rotating over to get a buyback, I ended up seeing two people right here, so 
what I just pay attention to how careful I play and how much I pre aim or I'm like walking. Like you guys know, I'm taking my time. That was stupid. That's yeah, it was. So we hurry and get this knock right here, and then you guys see we're pre aiming the ladder immediately, just in case. Uh, Still pre aiming it just in case. You know, you never know if the audio is really working or not. So we ended up seeing this boy run across, but. You know, we're still taking our time. I, in my mind, I'm still thinking, what if there's a third player from that team under me still? And he's just not making any noise. Because I'm also assuming that this guy is a whole different team. So we take a quick look behind us. I don't see anything. Now, from this point on, I'm really hoping my high alert kicks in if there is somebody behind me. But I'm playing extremely careful. It's still 34 up in this small zone. So you already know there's going to be so many people around us. So now we're trying to pursue this guy, but we're not out in the open. You guys see, I'm still looking for him, but I'm like behind cover. Every time I peek, I'm like shouldering this cover. You know, just in case he does end up popping out, we can get behind cover. But you guys notice, like I never fully pursued him. In this game, you never want to really just go ahead and chase somebody because the audio seems to work really well if you're the one that's not moving. Like if you're chasing somebody, then good luck. Cause you're not gonna hear them, but they can hear you. So that's why I really didn't want to pursue him. Somebody ended up buying back. We heard his audio a little bit. Now, once again, I don't fully commit cause I don't know what's going on. I don't know how many people are over there. How many teams. But then we ended up seeing two guys right here fighting our teammate. And you guys take notice that I'm laying down while I'm fighting this. Yeah, somebody and I keep laying down because like I said, I don't know what's going on at the buy station. I don't know how many people are over there. If like they're looking this way. But as we get up, we repeat that. It's like I'm playing extremely cautious. Like, I don't think you could. There's so, no such thing as being too careful in this game. But so far, I mean, you guys see how careful I've been playing. Like, I haven't died at all this game. Another buyback goes off. And once again, we're kind of wrapping around the situation. We're not just going straight into it. Like, we're playing careful. Where the dude that was just, oh, there you, go. you guys notice every time I peek, I'm shouldering cover. Like I'm on oh, cover yeah, every single time. Like I'm not fully extending out to where I don't have cover just in case I'm getting shot at. And now this is beautiful what's going on. Like you guys see I'm shouldering cover, right? So it's two different teams. There's a team right here and the other team to the right. Now, whenever I challenge this team alone, I have cover between me and them if I need it with this uh dumpster right here. But the good thing is that the team to the right can't actually see me when I'm challenging this team right here in front of me. Then if I was to go repeat this, that team to my left can't really see me because I'm going to be shouldering this. Like it's beautiful. And then I was getting high alert to my left. So that's why I repeated that side again. As we did that, I guess it worked out for us because somebody ended up pushing in here. He's my building and at the buy still. He's right here. I did not see that guy at all. He's ended up laying down. I don't know what I just heard. I, I was just hoping on the off chance I could probably lay a few bullets down on him, but smoke ended up working out. Now with this guy right here, we took our time a little bit. We waited for him to get out in the open to where he didn't have cover. You know, just in case your accuracy is bad, you may shoot him a couple times and then he's able to run behind cover. In that case, if our accuracy was bad, he had no cover to get to. So it would have been an easy kill regardless. I crack one up there. As I got a knock, I ended up getting knocked. Damn. Which worked out. You don't have to sell for us, so we're pretty much trading. Like, they're not going to jump down and send me because they have to res their teammate. Yeah, we trade. I knocked. So we're pretty much at a little stalemate right now. Uh, zone is collapsing in. Luckily for me, I made sure to pick up enough smoke, so I actually have four in my inventory. I throw two to rotate down here, so now I'm low ground against that team, and I have a little bit of cover, which is good. So I have, like, a small heady right there. Where the other teams at? So while my team is having like tunnel vision with that team, you guys see that they're both facing that way. I'm thinking about our rotation in oh. and the final four teams. Oh, inside the uh, final three teams. As I push up, I see these three guys inside the stadium. Now you guys see, I'm not like fully committed to this sniper fight. Down one over here. Cause you never wanna, you never wanna get overconfident against a sniper. And I just want them to make a mistake because they all can't really sit here on this small ledge. If you think about it, like if they were smart, they would have, but the average player and the average team isn't going to do that. They're going to try to get high ground right there on the stadium stairs. Luckily for us, high alert went off and that is game, man. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful in any way, make sure you drop me a like and be sure to subscribe if you are new.